what I'm about to share with you in this video just finished shocking me and in fact I'm still reeling from its effects and just had a beautiful laugh with my son Caleb who also was shocked by it and I want to get you in on it because it illustrates a powerful Bible study principle. Watch. Did you see that? Th did you see that the goalkeeper's feet are behind the, the line? But look at how the goalkeeper's hands are ahead. When I saw this, I was shocked because the referee did not call it as a goal. What I did next was go to my friend ChatGPT, the AI. I use it quite a bit in my research. And I asked a question because I was so shocked this is Premier League. This is Arsenal versus Tottenham and the referee just let this go. They, they, they could have watched video to, to see, but they didn't. I was like, what is going on? And I asked uh, ChatGPT and it confirmed to me that in soccer, a goalkeeper can stand behind the line and catch the ball as long as the ball does not cross the line. I was so shocked, I called my son Caleb and I showed him the picture with the goalkeeper's feet behind the line and him holding the, the, the ball ahead in front of the line. He was like, that's a goal, that's a goal. We were both shocked because we were using basketball rules to interpret soccer. If basketball rules could be extrapolated into soccer, this would totally have been a goal. That's because in basketball, if a player stands outside the field and catches a ball, it's considered offside even if the ball itself never steps outside the court. In fact, the ball is considered offside even if only one of the player's feet crosses the line. We were unconsciously extrapolating basketball rules to interpret soccer and became shocked when our expectations weren't met because we've been spending a lot of time watching basketball and only recently started watching soccer. This experience reminded me of the genre principle in Bible study. That principle says that meaning is genre dependent. Every genre in the Bible is like a sport. <clears throat> it's like Basketball or soccer, it has its own rules for interpreting what is being said. If we take the rules of one genre and apply them to another, like Caleb and I were doing, we'll get wrong interpretations. In case you don't know what genre is, genre is a category or type of literature. Genre in the Bible includes Narrative, poetry, prophecy, epistle or letter, law, wisdom literature, apocalyptic literature, gospel, historical narrative uh, and parables. If you aren't familiar with how to use genre in Bible study and would like to learn more, you can check out my book, Inductive Bible Study, or find free resources online. The important thing is that you remember that genre is important, learn about it and think about genre when you're interpreting the Bible. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments below. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.